everyone, this is Cindy. Welcome back to my channel. You have have noticed that leopard has come back really big for this season. So today I'm going to talk about leopard. I have collected so many leopard items throughout my old life. I would like to share them with you to bring these old items into life. I will create a leopard outfit at the end of this video to wear all of these items that I have shared with you today. So sit tight and uh, keep on watching. The first item is this chiffon knee and the definitely silk blouse. This was from almost 20 years ago bought this in Zara on Oxford Street so I've kept it for the years so oh, leopard is back on trend I have brought it out so I'm going to wear this if you do have a leopard blouse like this and then you can bring them out and start wearing them the next item is this leopard skirt this is also from Zara from at least 10 years ago the material is just synthetic there's nothing special about it but I wear this occasionally in the summer and I've kept it because I love leopard. I know that it's going to come back sooner or later. So now, 2024, autumn, winter is the time to bring them up. So there we go. So this is the skirt. Next is this leopard coat. Is knee length. This is the back. And the collars is like a blazer collar with lapel. And this is from a brand called... Gerard Dario, I think is French. This is lined and it's really soft and fluffy. This on South Mountain Street in the Gerard Dario store. Uh, is, I've had it for, for nearly 10 years. Anyway, I wear this every winter. I don't care whether the leopard is on trend or not on trend. This is one of my most favorite items. Next is a silk scarf. This is from Oscar. De la Renta. I bought this in Harrods many years ago and this is 100% silk and uh, this is about 95.95 just a standard silk square. I wear this in the winter sometimes or I take this on holiday with me wear it as a headscarf or wrap around as a sarong. And this very next one is from Louis Vuitton. This is the graffiti Louis Vuitton the leopard scarf. They still have them in stock till today. I had mine since when they came out, 2010 maybe? Probably even before 2010. I bought it at Selfridges. They used to have a little Louis Vuitton boutique on the side of Selfridges. I got this before Christmas. I remember it was a very, very cold day. I went there after work and then got this. This was about 300 pounds. I think now it's about 800 pounds for this scarf. I might be wrong, but I can check it. I think they still have them on the website. This is one of the most classic items or accessories of scarf in their collection. So they still have them. I kept mine all these years and I wear this every winter. Next one would be some leopard shoes. Is this pair of Zara Mary Jane that I've got recently? $27.99 from old Zara's. I love it. This is a very modern design, super practical and very, very comfortable. I love it. The only downside is that I wish that this is in a leather or pony skin, but Zara just don't do that. And this is like a fabric material, so silky. It might just tarnish and broken and uh, I don't know. I hope this lasts because I do love this pair. Uh, I would suggest go and get them if you want to update your wardrobe or leopard items into your wardrobe. This is something that is really worth getting. This is a pair of leopard pumps from many years ago. This is from a brand of Sajiro Rossi. You can see the back. You want this used to wear this quite a lot. And the heel is about eight centimeters tall and this pair is very comfortable you can see I've already resold it because this is a leather and in England it is impossible to wear this in the winter this is a classic design and I can spare it in the winter or and the trousers and another pair of this is a pair of leopard boots that I've had in my wardrobe for many many years this is has a higher heel and a very sharp stiletto heel 
and this is from Jimmy Choo and they have back zip as the closure and its shaft is quite high and they are round toes but slightly pointed between a round toe and pointed toe. Uh, wear these every winter and but there's a little bit of pony skin brushed off already and this is something that I've kept in my wardrobe for many many years. With this leopard trend there are so many smaller items you could have like just buying some smaller things if you're not a large item leopard fan for example like a blouse or trousers or like a coat so smaller things that I recommend are maybe get yourself maybe even just a pair of stockings that would fit and wear all black and then with some dark leopard stockings this is from Accessorize many, many years ago. And again, because I know Leopard is going to come back on trend, so I kept it. So now it's time to wear them again. And another thing is that maybe a little Leopard belt. So mine, it has been wrapped up, folded away, sitting in the drawer. So yeah, and maybe just have a Leopard belt. That's that little Leopard. Or maybe if you're not anything leopard at all maybe just get yourself a little hair lobster claw hair clip you can see how much i love a leopard now even though now my hair is very short and i will need this but I still when i dry my hair i use this as a clip so yeah little leopard hair claw i think this is from other set uh, other stories and again i think total shell is considered as to me is like leopard so of course sunglasses so this pair you can you must see from my OOTD is an outfit shorts that I wear this one quite a lot this is from Loi Wei and I got this last summer and rims is like a tortoiseshell I consider this as a leopard so if you're not sure about having something like maybe just get yourself a pair of tortoiseshell sunglasses this year the high street stores have so many leopard items there are socks there are trousers there are bikinis there are gloves there are so many things that we can buy and uh, or even some leopard underwear the other day I saw a leopard cap from other stories which is really cute but I'm not so much of a cap person so I wouldn't really get a leopard cap but, however I think if you really fancy have a leopard cap you know where you're going and for my whole leopard collection the last item but not the least is this leopard bag you can see this is quite a large size. It's about 30 centimeter wide and 20 centimeter in height, 30 centimeter width, and with a side pr probably about like five centimeters, and then with this shoulder strap with a leather strap on the top, and with this gold chains on either side, and uh, there are a couple of decals on the side of the flap and open up the flap and there is a, a zip at the top so for safety and the flap there's no other buttons or anything so the flap just falls on top of the bag and then it sits on the shoulder like this as you can see Oh, all the fashionistas carrying it like a clutch, <laughs> like this. So this is a leopard bag. This is from Jimmy Choo. I had it for many, many years. So yeah, now it's coming out for the leopard frenzy. I think dressing up is fun at the end of the day, and especially this leopard thing, because when we dress in leopard, we always think about, oh, maybe Pat Mitchell from EastEnders, or Patty from Absolutely Fabulous. So it's kind of over the top, scary, but there are so many ways to dress in, because leopard can go really well with brown, red, and then blue, and white, black, so they still can be injected into those outfits and just have a little touch of leopard. You can see like I'm wearing an all black outfit today, just with a little leopard belt, I think looks, I think it's okay. 
we can just do whatever we fancy and whatever suit ourselves, suit our personality, suit our lifestyle and just go for it. I mean a little bit of leopard is really really fun so just play with it and I hope you enjoy it. So next, seat tight and I have a surprise for you. And I have created one look with eight items on the rack back to have a little bit of fun. <laughs> Sometimes it burns, sometimes it hurts When you say my name, but thinking of hers I don't want to know, don't want you to go and leave me behind No, I don't want to see if it isn't me who's on your mind Thank you so much for the people who have subscribed to my channel lately and I'm really grateful and thank you so much for your support for my small channel but if you haven't subscribed please hit that subscribe button because I'm going to do a lot of videos on fashion trends and the bags and shoes there will be a lot of interesting videos coming up in the next few months and weeks that's it for today. Thank you so much for staying with me and I hope you enjoyed the leopard journey and you enjoyed the surprise, the leopard look that maybe a little bit shocking, but at the end of the day, we all have to unleash the leopard within, don't we? Thank you so much and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.